First place should have just been called place. Because as far as I'm concerned, that's the only one that matters. The awards on my table didn't come from second place. They technically didn't come from first place either. I had stolen them from a children's gymnastics competition, but it didn't matter. It was still a reminder of the success I needed to achieve. If I was going to win another one of those trophies to complete my collection, I'd have to get some kind of inspiration. My assignment was a drama film, and I thought paintings could be dramatic, right? But they didn't even move, just stationary pictures. The most interesting exhibit there wasn't even an exhibit. People were paying money hand over fist to see things that already had been painted. But my art, the things I was working on, they wouldn't give me a penny for. But this wasn't my first rodeo. I knew how it worked. I was about to give up hope entirely when I noticed something. Whether through divine intervention or perhaps just a child's play toy, a rubber band had been left on one of the statues. It was interesting, whole, unique. The rubber band was a perfect metaphor for the relationship between the artist and the critic. Was any discussion about the art productive or simply self-serving, taking away the essence of the piece and instilling the critic with the power the art once held? What was good, anyway? Wasn't art, by definition, subjective? My assigned genre was drama, but wasn't the greatest drama of all the artist alone, tortured by his desire to create? No, I had to win the competition, and I knew just how to do it. Josh, I'm gonna need you to come down here. We've got a project. No, I'm not gonna work on another project with you. I broke my wrist last time and I'm still paying for the- A thousand dollars? Well, sure. I'll do it. I'll meet you in five minutes. Art necessitated sacrifice, but I was the genius. I couldn't be expected to sacrifice anything, so Josh was the one. Catamon Arts is putting on a 48-hour student film festival. As long as you can promise me that prize. Oh, I'm in. It's as good as ours. And we've got 48 hours to complete this film. All right, we have 48 hours, I'm sure we'll Actually, we don't quite have 48 hours. Uh, we have more like 24. I spent yesterday in the Athenium staring at paintings for 24 hours, but it's fine because I have an idea that can win us the grand prize. Okay. In my time at the Athenium yesterday, I came up with the most realistic, gripping, human experience imaginable. I've got something to show you. Okay. I am not getting in that thing again. Oh yes, you are. If you want to win, that is. Come on. Uh, my arm. Careful. Really? We're gonna use this in another movie? You've used this in every single one we've done. It's worked every time, hasn't it? I can't argue with that, but still... Perfect. You still haven't put eye holes in this? Uh, first of all, robots can't see. That's you know why... this is how I broke my ankle, right? Just, just, okay? You're, you're a robot. Be in the robot mindset. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Exactly, exactly, like I'm riding on a bike. Okay. The stage was set. Perhaps it was a little pedestrian of me, but I wanted to win. I had it in my blood. Filming, of course, wasn't perfect. It never is. I decided to shoot in black and white because that's when you know something is real, serious, and gripping. Back up. Josh was not a perfect robot, but then again, none of us are perfect people, so we did what we could. We got some good footage. Fine footage, if I do say so myself. Before I knew it, we were halfway done. Okay, so we should be good uh, to finish right on time in about, I don't know, 12 hours. We've just got to do the robbery scene, the hospital scene, the kitchen scene, probably, mm, yeah, we're probably gonna want to reshoot everything we've done so far, and then other than that, we're pretty much good to go. And, wait, uh, wait, what? It has to be perfect. We just drove all over the place, and it took nine hours. Yeah? Are you kidding me? Um... You think I want to be in this suit any longer? I don't care what you want. It's humiliating! I don't know why you're making me wear this every time we go out and film. Can, can you unlock the door? Why? So I can get out of here. Well, why can't you do it? it isn't it locked? Oh, it's yeah, not opening. The child lock is on, yeah. Well, can you get that? Thank you. Of course he wasn't really mad about the robot suit. Like all great actors, Josh had failed to achieve perfection and he was lashing out against his creator. I knew it had to be done.
Wake up! Kevin? Oh, thank, thank God. Um, listen, my, my film's gonna be a little bit late. Hope that's okay. The finished product was celluloid trash now that Josh had left the project, but I had to finish. I had to win. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Um, I just wanted to come by and say a quick hi before the screening started. Um, you're, you're looking okay. Um, just want to say I wish you were going to be with me, you know, tonight. It's kind of our night. That's what I think of it as. And I know we had our disagreements, but I'm really excited, so. These are for you. And, oh, hang on, just, just a sec. Hey, Kevin, Kev man, how you doing? You ran Josh over with your car as a part of the program? Uh, I'm, I mean, yes, okay, yeah, but it was a totally an accident, so. Your assigned category was drama, but your entire movie was about a bumbling robot. You're disqualified. What?